The power of social media is it forces necessary change. There are things that people say that hurt my feelings or whatever, especially with social media right now. It can be the most amazing thing, and it can also be the most negative and detrimental thing. Social media is the ultimate equalizer. It gives a voice and a platform to anyone willing to engage. I'm not a social media person, I don't know what's going on unless somebody tells me. Social media is an amazing tool, but it's really the face-to-face -face interaction that makes a long-term impact. Technology and social media have brought power back to the people. We get to live in a time that we get to use social media as a tool. It's not just a face on a piece of paper, and that's what makes you someone's favorite model. We can have a very similar sense of humor as someone, and that's why we're their favorite model, or our personal style, off the runway, is why we're their favorite. I'm inspired to post a lot of positive messages on my social media because, growing up, I felt as though I needed somebody that looked like me in the limelight or in entertainment to promote being different and promote accepting your differences. Social media is both a dark and brilliant thing for mental health. The influence of social media is unbelievable. It's sad to see, it's a fake life that some people live. Social media has taken over in America to such an extreme that to get my own kids to look back a week in their history is a miracle, let alone 100 years. Social media is the most disruptive form of communication humankind has seen since the last disruptive form of communications, email. In general, we're a social network. I prefer that because I think it is focused on the people part of it, as opposed to some people call it social media, which I think focuses more on the content. Social media has given us this idea that we should all have a posse of friends when in reality, if we have one or two really good friends, we are lucky. Sometimes I worry that science communication is just preaching to the choir, speaking to the converted. Social media gives us an amazing opportunity to reach new people. When it comes to social media, there are just times I turn off the world, you know. There are just some times you have to give yourself space to be quiet, which means you've got to set those phones down. Sometimes you need that time away to disconnect from social media. I'm just not a messy person. I don't look for pleasure in social media. Using social media to hurt and destroy is callous, acted out by cowards hiding behind computers. My advice is to ignore negativity, focus on the love around. Social media can sometimes influence the charts, but I think that only great music makes it to the top. The good songs make it. The dark side of social media is that, within seconds, anything can be blown out of proportion and taken out of context. And it's very difficult not to get swept up in it all. Fake news is a big thing in the field of social media journalism. Fake news can be as simple as spreading misinformation or as dangerous as smearing hateful propaganda. I got a lot of very bad hate on social media from some people from my school. I think people thought I changed because they saw me on TV. They weren't close enough to know that I was still the same human being. When I walked at graduation, I got booed. It was kind of stupid. There's a danger in the internet and social media. The notion that information is enough, that more and more information is enough, that you don't have to think, you just have to get more information, gets very dangerous. Social media is a very, very powerful tool. It also gives power to tools. The PC has improved the world in just about every area you can think of. Amazing developments in communications, collaboration and efficiencies. New kinds of entertainment and social media. Access to information and the ability to give a voice people who would never have been heard. I am a huge advocate for anti-bullying in our youth. What I have seen with the rise of social media is that children are not facing bullying on a playground, they are facing it on their cell phones. It takes discipline not to let social media steal your time. I have said that propaganda, misinformation, and disinformation have always been part of political warfare. Social media and other new platforms have given it a new life and reach through which the fake news phenomenon can reach everywhere. Social media is changing the way we communicate and the way we are perceived, both positively and negatively. Every time you post a photo or update your status, you are contributing to your own digital footprint and personal brand. It's a dialogue, not a monologue, and some people don't understand that. Social media is more like a telephone than a television. Social media websites are no longer performing an envisaged function of creating a positive communication link among friends, family, and professionals. It is a veritable battleground, where insults fly from the human quiver, 
damaging lives, destroying self-esteem and a person's sense of self-worth. We can all agree that social media is an amazing platform where we can interact with and meet people and that we probably would have never had the chance to otherwise, right? However, it also has sadly become a place where some people go to share negative thoughts and comments. In the age of social media, everyone's a newspaper columnist, exaggerating what they think and feel. Facts still matter, and social media is allowing for a wider range of new and independent voices to outcompete alarmist environmental journalism at legacy publications. Social media is not about the exploitation of technology but service to community. We need to start identifying the triggers that aggravate mental health issues in our society, bullying, social media negativity and anxiety, gender-based violence, substance abuse, stigma around issues such as maternal issues, etc., and we need to speak up about these more and get to the source of the problems. Social media is something of a double-edged sword. At its best, social media offers unprecedented opportunities for marginalized people to speak and bring much-needed attention to the issues they face. At its worst, social media also offers everyone an unprecedented opportunity to share in collective outrage without reflection. When I was in Japan on tour in 2010, I felt like I was 30 years into the future. I love technology and they are so advanced with their phones, computers, everything. I think they had the iPhone way before we did in the US. I love gadgets, games, social media and I try to stay ahead on all that stuff, but they get it all first. People are scared to have a strong opinion because, with social media, almost everyone lives the life of a celebrity. Some days, I'll be very down and out, but you won't be able to tell, really, because I don't express that side of myself on social media. That's the side of myself that I express through music. You don't need a corporation or a marketing company to brand you now, you can do it yourself. You can establish who you are with a social media following. The great thing about social media was how it gave a voice to voiceless people. We live in an age where there is a firehose of information, and there is no hierarchy of what is important and what is not, where the truth is often fashioned through a variety of digital means. Are you your avatar? Who are you in social media? What face do you turn toward the world? How much does it have in common with who you actually are? Your morning sets up the success of your day. So many people wake up and immediately check text messages, emails, and social media. I use my first hour awake for my morning routine of breakfast and meditation to prepare myself. I just constantly tell myself that I should be the only one to define my worth and what I'm capable of and how I perceive myself, and that I should never source that worth from other people, especially strangers on social media. They don't know who I am, the length of my journey, who I am as a person. When I hear people debate the ROI of social media, it makes me remember why so many business fail. Most businesses are not playing the marathon. They're playing the sprint. They're not worried about lifetime value and retention. They're worried about short-term goals. Social media is not a safe space. It's good to be happy and tell us how cool your life is and how awesome you are on social media. That's great because it inspires other people to be happy, too. But a lot of times, People are trying to be happy in the wrong ways, with money or with different things that are not true happiness. I think social media has taken over for our generation. It's a big part of our lives, and it's kind of sad. Visit our website for more quotes, quoting.com.